Hey everybody, it's Crispy Divine of Central Mass Vapors. It is hmm, about almost uh, 11 o'clock and I have to go to work. But because I have not made a video since my Alice in Vape Land review, which I hope everybody enjoyed, um, I wanted to come here quick before I went to work and show you the process that I have to do before I go to work and fill you guys in on a few updates because you know how I love updates and half the time the updates don't even happen <laughs> so with that said going to work for me is a little bit of a headache when it comes to vape gear because I can't vape freely in my job which is you know normal because of the fact that it's a job and normally you can't have that kind of freedom but also because of the fact that um, my boss, I think I said this at one point, seen it and didn't like it. So, you know, basically told me to keep it out of uh, sight. Nine times out of ten, the customers don't see me. So, for me, I try my hardest to keep it out of the, the way of people. I keep it underneath, but going in and out of my bag every five minutes to grab my vape when I want to go outside is ridiculous. So, with that said, uh, the other part of being frustrated, frustrating, is... I never know what to bring, okay? And anybody who vapes knows that it's hard to leave the house with your gear because you don't know what you need or what you want, so you have to bring your staples, okay? So here's a few of my staples. Uh, an extra battery. Now, I have one battery in here, which is pathetic. Um, now that I've moved into the world of these box mods, there's two in there. Um, I bought two Samsungs for that specific one. Um, and unfortunately, at day two, I noticed a little nick in it. It's nothing too crazy. I'm going to fill it in with a little um, uh, nail polish and it should be fine. Um, but they've been not being used right now. Um, so I'm only going to bring this one battery, which is going to be okay for me because in my possession here, what I have, I'm pretty much charged up, okay? So second, I always bring my VTR. Um, normally I have like a nice little cardo tank. Today I have the Nautilus or the mini Nautilus in there uh, because of the fact that the other um, thing that I've been using has Space Jam's Andromeda and I just got something new today and it's the perfect type of device for Space Jam's Andromeda so I switched it out. So that goes in this little pouch, okay? Actually no, that's going to go into this pouch, okay? And I always make sure it's off. One, two, three, that's off. And now you know why I said about the battery. So that's got uh, still a green light. I'm not sure exactly how much it's charged. It probably will be going to the orange soon, but it's fine for now. Next up on the agenda. <sighs> okay, so we all know that I have had an MVP at some point in my life, and somehow they always make, it, make its way back to me. Um, I bought some coils for my iClear 16D. I love having this stuff around. I mean, it's perfect for when I go to work. Um, a lot of times when I'm outside, I get nervous that people have their windows open, so blowing huge clouds sometimes is not the greatest idea. So, you know, it's, it's eight, 8 volts. I mean, uh, 8 watts. I'm not going crazy on it. So for me, plus I just put a new coil in there. I haven't been able to use that in a long time. So it's perfect, okay? Next up, my Club Hoar P5. Reason why I'm bringing this today is because I just put my um, K Fun on it. I haven't been using my K Fun a lot lately because I've been running around with my Segeli 100 watt and the Club Hoar with the Mini K Fun. So I'm bringing this to work today. Delicious. One, two, three, four, five. So that's going in. Okay? So that's my front pocket. Let's zip it. Zip. So it's funny because I always have something hanging out the top. Okay? <laughs> so the new addition of my family is the big dripper. I have it on my King uh, Cartel, rather. I always say that. It's working pretty nice. Anybody has any tips on wicking? I'm not getting the greatest of flavors out of there. It's the first build, so I'm not stressed out about it. You know, sometimes it can take a little while, um, and uh, I'm not worried about it. But as far as, uh, 
you know, performance goes. I mean, it's drawing really well, nice vapor production. Um, the flavor is not so bad, uh, but it's my favorite Andromeda, so therefore it's got to be better than what it is. You know, and for dripping, I think a lot of, mm, that was good. I think a lot of people might have a problem with the airflow because, actually, that's not too bad. I had it closed off a little bit, but, um, you know, it's really nice. Even wide open, it's not like the the most airy draw in the world. So you do still get a little bit of that, you know, pull from it, which I kind of like. The one thing I have to say is because I was an owner of the... Um, the uh, 3D dripping uh, thing, whatever. Because I can't see inside of it, <laughs> I'm not sure how well this thing works. I mean, it has not had one dry hit yet, so I'm assuming it's working beautifully. Uh, but I haven't, I should probably test it out, you know, you know, vape it until I can't vape it anymore and then uh, see how well it works. But so far, so good. This, of course, I cannot take off, um, I mean, shut off, so I'm gonna bring that one outside the bag today because I want to like put it through its tastes on the way in. Lastly, I got my Sigeli 100 watt and on top I've got a 26650 version of the Plume Vial and um, I've just got a simple um, dual coil 24 gauge. Um, I think it's like point, point 0.4. Got to get about eight wraps on it each. Um, but this is a beautiful thing. Mmm. One thing I don't like about this fucking Louisville is the air holes. I can never tell if they're open or not. Delicious. I'm shutting that off for now. Just to like get into the car and then I'll take both of my little toys out and I'll play with them. So, okay. So, that's devices. Now what? <laughs> okay. So now I need juice. Uh, bring in my five pawns, um, Grandmaster, because I have that in my plume veil. I am bringing my Space Jams Andromeda, because I have that in my big drip pour. I have Bean Town Vapors O Face, which I'm almost out of, which is depressing, in my Nautilus, but that should not uh, be a worry. I am also today going to be bringing some. I'm going to bring some 28 gauge canthal, some 24 gauge canthal. I'm going to be bringing some pliers. I'm going to also be bringing some little scissors. I'm going to be bringing my nail clippers. A couple of these nifty little things. Also bringing my ohm meter, which day two it fucking broke off. I mean, it still works, but bring that with me. And last but not least, I'm going to bring a piece of cotton. Just one. I won't need more. Because I'm also going to bring my new Cerebrivorbit, whatever this thing is, Cerebris, Celebris, Cerebris, whatever. Bringing that with me as well because I want to play with it. So, oh, most important thing, I almost forgot. 5-Hour Energy. I just looked over and seen Nom Nom by Carpe Diem. I'll bring that too. I don't know if I'll need it, but I'll just bring it anyway. <laughs> Extra drip tip, because you never know. And then, yeah. So that, that's about it. That's what I have. So I've got a bag full of fun. Um, I also have all the necessities needed to build because I'm there all night and half the time I'm there there's nothing but, you know, just waiting around till the morning. Um, so I have enough stuff to keep me busy. I'll have my iPad so I might watch a stupid movie that makes me happy and um, that'll be that. Plenty of coffee, plenty of fun. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to come on here and say hi because it's been so long it seems. Keep me always in your thoughts and your prayers and all that stuff. Oh, and BTW, I have been playing around with the idea of doing a little group buy. I know, I know, there's so many people doing them, and the people that do them do them so well. Um, you know, the you know the um, the big dripper came from of group buy from North Star Vaping group buys, and um, they do a great job over there. 
Uh, but I always thought, like, how fun would it be if I did one? Uh, but what do you think? If I was to do one and I said did one for the Onslaught RDA, would I have any buyers? You let me know in the comments, won't ya? Also, guess what I ordered? The Dark Horse RDA, my first authentic anything. It comes with two, I believe, wide board drip tips, and I'm so excited about that alone. Um, rumor has it this thing is a beast, and I'm so excited that I'm actually gonna order it. And the only reason why I did get it was because I returned the BEC Pro because it was garbage, and um, I had a store credit to Be Happy Vape or Be Vape Happy. And uh, I said, you know what? Screw it. I've got enough friggin' things to, you know, last me 10 years to vape out of. Um, so why not rock an authentic, um, you know, a nice stripper? So that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. I got tons of stuff coming up. I just got to get used to this. I know I keep saying it. I am still getting used to this horrible, horrible schedule. Um, you know, it just seems like when I'm not working, I'm sleeping, or I'm trying to hatch up with friends, if my family and my, if my boyfriend or fiance. And it's just been tough, and we've been moving, and it's uh, just so irritating. Um, but I'm going to try to get in here and uh, do a couple updates on, um, you know, some juices I have. i got so much stuff to talk about. But anyway, that's it today. i got to run to work. Thank you guys so much. Leave a comment for me. Like, share, subscribe. You know the drill. i got a big announcement for my 300 subscriber giveaway. I'm giving away a nice, awesome, awesome mod. Um, there's a bunch of stuff I'm going for. So please stay tuned. Please love me still. And as always, you stay fabulous, everybody. Oh my god, I almost forgot. <laughs>